question for you. The first one I introduced myself, I'll probably be smart. <laughs> so my name is Amanda Lawrence, and I'm an exclusive Black Success presenter. And Okay, I tell myself what I want to do the next day, 
what were some things that day that I was grateful for? And that's what I want you guys to start doing. I want you guys to make yourself like a gratitude journal or something, something that you can put next to your bed so that you can express gratitude every single night before you go to bed. Because when you express gratitude, the universe is going to give you more of what you're grateful for. And that is exactly what every single one of you guys deserves to have in this room is the thing that you are grateful for, okay? So you want to go to bed with those positive thoughts, and then in the morning you want to wake up fired up. You want to wake up fired up, you guys, okay? So how do you do that? You shoot out of bed. You shoot out of bed. You have a smile on your face, and you get ready to set your goals for the day. You get ready to take on the world. You guys get ready. You get up every single day with that energy. You jump out of bed with excitement. I am ready to crush my goals today. I am ready to change my life every single day. Maybe it's just something so small. You have to think so positive because energy is going to create that action. Now, <laughs> remember when I said my favorite word was unstuck? <laughs> so my journey, you guys, to black status has been, it's been a really crazy one, actually. It was not easy by any means at all, okay? I started with me on March 27th, 2015. And I hit green status November 27th of 2015. I was on my honeymoon. I was, I got married that month. I was on St. John in the US Virgin Islands. I had no phone service, none. But I was determined to make it happen. I was determined to hit green status. I was determined to make it happen. I said, this is my month. I was determined. I was intentional about going green status. I knew that green status is exactly what I wanted. So I did it. I had green status on November 27th of 2015. Then you can see, it goes all the way to September of 2016. I was stuck. I was so stuck at green status, you guys, for 10 months. 10 months. How many of you guys feel that way in this room today? You feel stuck where you are, okay? I've been there. I know exactly how you feel. And it is not a good feeling, okay? But I was intentional about feeling stuck. I was so intentional about feeling like I was stuck. I, I couldn't get out of it. So when I was, it, it started to change for me when I was shaking the convention and I experienced what you guys are experiencing here today. I learned about my mindset. I learned how powerful my mind was. I learned that I could literally change everything about my life with changing my mind. It's, it's simple, but yet it's kind of difficult, okay? Because we are very hard on ourselves. It's very difficult to change our mindset when we're so hard on ourselves and we just beat ourselves up all the time. How many of you guys can think off the top of your head some of the nasty things that you say out loud to yourself? Or maybe it's in your mind. You're saying like, oh, I am stuck. I cannot book any parties. I can't get anyone to join my team. Nobody wants to see me be successful. Nobody's answering my messages. Everybody's ignoring me. I just can't do this. You are being intentional about being stuck. Okay, you're being intentional about destroying your success. You're being intentional about setting yourself up to fail. Okay? And you've got to change that aspect of your mindset and your business. So, you, like I said, you have to be intentional about your thoughts. Your success will begin and it will end with intentionally believing in yourself and what you are capable of. Okay? So, an example that I like to say is, do you guys ever wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, Monday, hate today, it's gonna suck. Today is gonna be the worst day ever. I need to talk to my boss at work. I have so many messages to answer. Today is going to be such a pain in the butt. <laughs> you are setting yourself up to fail, you guys. You're setting yourself up to have a terrible day. You have to change that thought when you wake up in the morning. You have to wake up or you know whatever you're doing throughout the day. You have to, you have to think intentionally that you can do it. It's gonna be a great day. Today is going to be an amazing day, and you are going to smile a lot, you're going to love a lot, you're going to have the best day of your life, every single day, every day. Whether you think you can or you think you cannot, you are absolutely right, you guys. You are absolutely right, okay? If you are sitting there every day, you're thinking to yourself, oh, I just can't do it, I can't do it, I'm never going to be successful, you're right, you're right. If you are sitting there thinking to yourself, you know what, I can do this today. 
anything. I can make this happen. I can absolutely do exactly what I set my mind to today. You're gonna do it. You're right. You are right, okay? If you want a black status and you walk, talk, and act like a black status, if you post like a black status, you talk to people like you are black status, you will become black status. You have to make it until you make it, you guys. Have faith in the person that you want to become. You have to walk, talk, and act like the person that you want to become so that you can fall into that mindset. So you can become that person because what you think about comes about when you focus on expands. So if you are putting yourself out there and you feel like a black status presenter, you get pumped up like a black status presenter, you guys. You feel like you can make it happen. You feel like you are a party queen. You feel like you can do whatever it is that you need to do to become successful. You will fall in and become that person. You will literally start to carry yourself like that person because that is a routine that you're starting to create for yourself. So, what if I told you guys that you could literally stop thinking those negative things about yourself if you gave yourself 21 days, 21 days. Would you guys be willing to try something new for 21 days? Yeah. 21 days, that's it. 21 days. Oh, you can do that, right? You guys can do that. So it takes 21 days to create a new habit, it takes 90 days to create a solid habit. So what does that mean? That means that if you start telling yourself, you guys, whatever it is that you want, Whoever it is that you want to become, if you start saying I'm beautiful instead of calling yourself fat, because if you tell yourself that you are fat, fat will find you. I'm serious. It's so true. How many of you guys look in the mirror sometimes? I'm guilty of this. And you say, I'm fat. Oh, I'm so fat. You guys, stop. You gotta stop. Stop saying that to yourself. I know it's difficult because we look at ourselves and we literally think those things. You gotta stop. You guys deserve to feel like you are on top of the world. Every single one of you guys in this room deserves to feel beautiful. You guys deserve to feel like you can conquer anything. Every single person in this room deserves to feel the best that they have ever felt in their lives. All we have to do is take 21 days and instead of looking in the mirror and saying, I'm fat, or instead of saying, I can't do this, instead of saying, I'll never get past the blue status or yellow status or whatever it is, you have to say, I will get past the blue status. I am beautiful, okay? I am exactly who I want to become. I am becoming that person every single day. And today is the day that you guys start with that 21 day period. It takes 21 days, you guys. Today is the day. How many of you guys say today is the day? Today is the day. instead of living such a negative life. Seven years is going to pass anyways. Why don't we live the best life that we possibly can? Because we choose our own destiny. We choose who we want to become. We choose where we go. We choose how we feel. We choose what we do every single day. We literally choose our own destiny. We can choose that. We create our own future by simply thinking better thoughts about ourselves. What? So what are you guys going to start telling yourself today? Black status. Are you guys black status presenters? Because I think you are. Okay. You guys are definitely, all of you are black status presenters. You are black status presenters. You are black status You guys are all black status presenters in this room. Whatever it is that you want to become, you have to start telling yourself that every single day. I don't care if you guys don't get paid as your highest status. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. And you have to tell yourself it does not matter. Progress is progress. Okay? We have this thing on my team, and I made a little jingle. I have this song for jingle. <laughs> you guys know. <laughs> so I always tell my team, instead of thinking about what didn't happen today, I didn't get my parties booked that I wanted to get booked, instead we focus on our oh yeah. <laughs> so we focus on our oh yeah on my team, okay? So my daughter's saying this too because I came up with it and they're so obsessed with it. It's all, all oh, yeah. Making progress, making progress, making all oh, yeah. Okay, so I want you guys to focus on your all oh, yeah. Every single day, like I told you in your gratitude journal. So, you have to set goals and you have to be obsessed with achieving them. So today is what, August 3rd? Today's August 3rd, right? Yeah, I'm sure. So, 
day, you have to set a goal. I'm forcing you to set a goal. If you don't set a goal, I will find you. You have to set a goal. Set. Set a goal. A high one. A high one. One that is difficult to achieve. One that's going to make me work. And you have to be obsessed with hitting that goal. You have to be obsessed or you're going to be average. You don't want to be average. You guys are all better than average. You guys are amazing. You and your goal should make yourself and other people so uncomfortable. Like if you told me you're like double status, I mean obviously you want to make it achievable, but if you told somebody I'm going to go 20 parties this month and I'm going to sponsor 10 people and that made the next person next to you be like, oh no, you're not going to do that girl. You set the right goal. You set the right goal. You have to do the thing that the average person would never do. <laughs> this is what's going to set you apart from those 80 percenters. I don't know if you guys know what that is. But most people are 80 percenters. You want to be a 20 percenter. Somebody who kicks some serious beauty every single day. Every single day. So, are you average or are you obsessed? Are you guys ready to make your wildest dreams become your reality? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Let's do it, you guys. We're doing this together. So, you want to tell people what your goals are. So, quick story really quick. Quick story really quick. Um, I was tough. I heard that. No idea. September, I, I came to convention September 1st. I was like, okay, I'm gonna set some goals. I'm gonna rock this out and make this happen. I set my goal. I was like, I was gonna say that word. Uh, orange status is not for me. <laughs> orange status is not for me. But you know what? It's for me, purple status. So I'm gonna set my goal, my goal for me, purple status. So I made a little jingle. And I told myself every single day, I will have two front row leads by the end of this month and we will finish the month as a purple status team. I can say that so fast. Because I was literally saying it to myself every single day. Every day, all day. I'm like vacuuming, I'm sweeping the floor, I'm changing the diapers, I'm doing all this stuff. I will have two front lines by the end of this month, and we'll finish the month and we'll have to I pictured it in my mind. I told everyone, I told the crossing guard on the way to my daughter's school, I'm going to be a purple jazz person this month. I know you don't know what that is, but just keep that in mind. <laughs> Happen. Where are you guys going to be five minutes from now? You know, what do you guys want to do? What do you guys want to be by the end of this month? What do you want to be by the end of this month? Somebody, somebody shout something out. Perfect. Okay. All you have to do is come up with something that you tell yourself, and you have to work your buns off to get there. Set your goal. Believe it's going to happen. See it in your mind. I will have two front line leads by the end of this month, and we'll finish this month with a couple steps team. Instead of being stuck at green status for 10 months, I worked my butt off to go purple status. I have no elites tracking, none. Our company sales were not tracking. My mind moved mountains. I changed my mindset, and then I changed my life. And after 10 months of being stuck at green status, I double promoted. From green status to purple status. And then two months later, I did the same thing. I woke up on November 1st and I said, this is my month. This is my month. And I told myself, every single day, I will have four front line leads by the end of this month, and we will finish the month as a black status team. And you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? Is I didn't even finish as purple status the month before. I didn't even finish as purple status the month before. I had no idea that it could happen. I didn't have any, there was nothing telling me it was going to happen. But I decided it was going to happen. And you can decide it's going to happen too. You just have to decide and be intentional about where you want to go and what you're going to do. You have to be intentional. Set those goals, you guys, and believe that you can achieve them. I believe that any of you in here can achieve those goals. I believe in you. The person next to you believes in you. The person on the other side of you believes in you. You can do it. You can do whatever it is that you set your mind to. Whatever it is that you want to do. I don't care. You want to go build an airplane, go build an airplane. Whatever it is. I don't care what it is. Go climb Mount Everest. You can do it. You can do whatever it is you want. Honest to goodness. You have to take the action to get there, though. Okay, you have to take that action. So what is your game plan? What action are you committed to daily? What action? You have to figure out what it's gonna to take to get there. Don't blame anybody if you can't get there. Don't blame anybody for not having what it takes. If you don't have the right tools, figure it out, you guys. You have what it takes to figure it out. You have what it takes to figure it out to get exactly where you wanna be. 
So what action are you committed to daily? What's your mantra? That's what I call mine. I don't have to put my leaves by the end of this month. I'm going to finish this month as a purple status team. That was my mantra. If you want to go green status this month, I will finish this month as a green status presenter. Or we, you're in this with your team, right? You have a team. So, I don't care if you have one, 20, 20,000, I don't care. You're in this as a team. We will finish this month as a green status team. Okay, what is your mantra? Come up with a mantra right now on your paper right now. What is your mantra for success? Does your action match up with your goals? Are you wanting green status but taking yellow status action? You guys ever read the 10X book by Grant Cardone? Really? Best book I ever read. Changed my life. Changed my life. If you're not hitting your goals, you need to take more action. And you have to think better things about yourself. You guys can do it. You can absolutely make this happen. Knowledge and inspiration are power. Like I just said, Grant Cardone, 10X school, he gave me the knowledge. Here for it gives me knowledge every single day. Every day I commit myself to growing my knowledge of who I want to become and where I want to go. And in order to be inspiring, you must first be inspired. Motivation begins and ends with your own personal inspiration. What does that mean? It means you gotta pick up a book. You gotta learn, you gotta grow yourself. We are paid to grow ourselves with this business that we are in. We are literally paid to read books for ourselves and hang out with our friends and play with makeup. We just have to take it seriously. And we have to have fun with it. You guys have to open up your soul and be vulnerable with people. And you have got to think better thoughts and educate yourself on how to become a better person so that when those obstacles arise, you can be powerful. You guys can become the most powerful person on the planet if you just educate yourself to be that way. John C. Maxwell, Eric Corey, you guys. So many people put themselves out there. They have books, videos, everything free for us to just educate ourselves, but bathe ourselves all this amazing knowledge so that you can become the inspirational person that you deserve to become. I didn't just wake up and be a you know, leader of all these people. I grew myself to the point that those obstacles didn't stand a chance of me. I went through the obstacles. I appreciate those things now, okay? Those things were shit on my highlight. They don't, they don't take a chance of me anymore. But I grew myself, so what's your mantra for success? It starts with your vision. You have to have a vision. Because with vision comes desire, and with desire comes the drive to make your dreams your reality. If you don't have a vision, your dream will not become your reality, guys. You have to have a vision for success. If you don't have a vision, and if you don't know your why, you're not going to have any motivation to get the things done that you want to get done. You're not going to have any motivation to shoot up out of bed, like I said earlier. You're not going to have any motivation to do the things. You're not going to have any motivation to crush your fears. You're not going to have motivation to message your team. You have to know why. I was on food stamps. I was on Medicaid. I couldn't afford to buy my kids Christmas presents or birthday presents. My husband was working his buns off every day, gone for months at a time. That was my why. My husband wasn't going to do that anymore, and my kids were going to have good Christmases. They were going to have good birthdays. You guys feel that? Anybody feel that way in here? You want to give your family the best life that they possibly can have, okay? And you guys might not have the same why as I do, but your why has to be huge and your vision has to be clear as ever. Your vision has to be so clear that you literally close your eyes and you just see it. When I want black cells, you guys, I envision those flowers being delivered to my door. Figure out what it is that happens whenever you hit your goal. What's gonna happen? When you go black cells, I'll tell you right now, you get roses. So many amazing things happen. You have to picture those things happening, you get welcomed into the black status page. It's amazing. Okay, you have to feel those things. Your mind has to feel the outcome of the things that you want. Okay, so if you're going, I don't know, black status level one, I don't know if there's, you know, anybody in here that's running for that, but if there are, you have to envision that shout out. You have to envision whatever it is that you want to happen. And you have to feel those feelings that you're going to feel when you hit that goal, when you go green status. Envision those things. You're the top two percent of the company now. You have to feel those feelings that you're going to feel when you hit those goals. That is the biggest thing that you can possibly do is get clear on your vision. So it's time to own it. You gotta own your goals. You gotta own where you want to go. You gotta be proud of who you are and this business that you have invested in. You have got to be proud of that. You've got to own who you are and who you want to become. Own it, you guys. Stand taller, okay? Scream louder. <laughs> you got to own it. you got to own your goals and where you want to go and who you want to become. You have to own it. You 
all, you have to act the part, play the part, become the part, you guys. You have got to, you have to be that person, you have to become that person that you want to become. So you gotta speak it out loud. Speak it out loud in the shower. You guys don't even want to be in the bathroom when I'm in the shower, okay? I'm, I'm always shouting my goals out. I'm like, I so my goal is on this black set, level one. Okay? And so in the shower, I'm gonna put a jingle. My name is on black set, level one this month. Okay, that's my jingle.
And I want you to raise your guys' arms all the way to the sky. I can't reach and on the concrete, I want you guys to shout as loud as you can.